basically an ag turn, just like in the helicopter with Rob Dustin. Oh, yeah. Just pull up to slow down, that way you can make a tight radius turn. Back out on the crops again. Or if you're flying a gunship and you're on a car, on a car whatever, you know. <laughs> That's right. Right on down on it. That was fun. So good shit they learn that the mountain the uh, gun in the nose is really not your best way of doing it. So yeah. if you're shooting that for a ground target. Because you only got the amount of time that you're pointing towards the target, you know. Yep. So everything's positioned out the side now you can just do a turn about a point and stay right on right on your target, just play a whole bunch of lead down. You betcha. Now my my, my brother was in Vietnam. He he, yeah. he was uh he was over there. He, he talked about that. Yeah, that's a... Uh, airplanes, they called them, they nicknamed them Puff. Puff the Magic Dragon. Yeah, so there was a Hanna-Barbera cartoon that was Puff the Magic Dragon. So anyway, they, uh, but it looked like a solid line. They fired tracer rounds. It looked like just a solid line of fire down to yeah. the target. You know? well, that's where they got the idea for, I think, those C-130s, right? Uh -huh, right, exactly. Same thing. Purple you know they've got, those things are ridiculously accurate, man. It is. They can put them right on a target. They got, they got that infrared sensing on them. Uh -huh. they just... Well, they're all stabilized, you know, the guns are stabilized, the sighting's up. They can just tear up something if they want to. But... Put the guns, all the stuff's pointing forward, you know. Right. So they only had limited time on target. You know, and really, when you think about it, I mean, they'd only been flying planes for like 30, yeah. 30 years, right? Exactly. Right? That's just crazy. Yep. for longest distance in a gyro plane non-stop. So I'm thinking about it, it's kind of cool because nobody that's ever existed in time has ever done that before. That is pretty cool. I'm the only guy on the planet that's ever gone that far that ever lived. That, that is pretty yeah. cool. But crazy enough. Yeah. <laughs> that is pretty awesome. Yeah. There's our bald eagle there. Yeah, there he is. Is that where he was before? Uh-huh. He's over there fishing. Uh -huh. Right down. You know that guy that flew around the world, that was pretty cool too. Uh-huh. Yeah, Jim Ketchum? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah him and Norman. Norman surplus. What's that? Yeah, him and Norman surplus. Yeah, yeah. Norman was flying an auto gyro though. Uh-huh. He didn't count. And it wasn't yeah, yeah. it wasn't really a... Uh, it wasn't non-stop. Right, it was like a seven-year break in there yeah. somewhere. Yeah, the Russians wouldn't let him cross their airspace. Oh. Uh, well, he got to... Uh, Japan, they couldn't go any farther, so I'm shipping it back home. Oh. Eventually, it's at Japan, I think, for like five years or whatever. And that's, and that's where he picked up. They let Ketchel cross, I guess. Uh, yeah, they let Ketchel cross, so Ketchel took Norman Surplus with him. Oh, okay. I, that's I, how I, he finished the around the world trek. I didn't so know. They, I, I didn't know. Uh, yeah, they flew together. But not the whole way, though. Uh, no, just the part that, that Norman Surplus had, oh. had completed. Him and Ketchel flew together and they completed that part of it. So. Yeah, so that was cool. That was kind of nice. It was nice for Ketchel to take him with him, but, you know. It was really nice. Uh, I mean, they both kind of shared the... Yeah, he stopped in. Uh, uh, for the Norman, I spent some time with Norman up at Minton. And then uh, James Ketchel stopped by Cape looking for me. Oh, that's and awesome. And I was in Oshkosh. Oh. He had just left Oshkosh the day before and I wasn't looking for him. And he, he left the day before coming to Cape looking for me. So oh. I got home. I missed it by one day at Oshkosh, by one day at Minton, and by one day at, at my house. Well, I'll be done. Yeah, he seems like a pretty cool guy. Uh -huh. I love some of the footage from his around yeah. the world trip. That's awesome. Yeah, I wanted to get a picture of me and him and Norman all together. 
but between the three of us, we hold probably 90% of all the world records yeah. in uh, shower plants. Yeah, there's some deer. Uh, that is true, that is true. This said, uh, Ken Wallace, he died about, uh, oh, I guess, three or four years ago now. Commander Wallace, he was a uh, Senate British military. He was actually a World War II. Uh, plane, their airplane pilot, and after the war, he, in the 50s and 60s, he, he did a lot of research for the British government with gyroplanes. Oh. Well, he built a lot up on his own, and then he ended up doing a, a lot of gyroplane records because he was trying to push the envelope on what they do on performance, you know. Oh. So he uh, ended up, I broke a bunch of his records and put the gyroplanes, and then, uh, Andy Keach has got uh, a couple of records of between Ken Wallace, Andy Keach, me, Norman Surplus, and James Ketchell. That's probably 99% of all the pro records in Jaro plays. <laughs> Everybody's alive except for uh, for uh, Wallace, Wallace. You know? Yeah, he, if he was still alive, he'd be, uh, he'd be right at 100. Wow. 97, 99, yeah, my, like that. Yeah, my dad fought, fought in World War II. He was in the Marines in the South Pacific. Yeah. And my brother fought in Vietnam. I managed to... Wasn't any wars going on for me. We are like first generation. That never happened to. Yeah. I, I missed Vietnam by about five years, and then uh, Desert Storm, I was already... Uh, I was, yeah. Well, how, old else, how old are you, Paul? I'm 58. You're 58? 58, yeah, born at 62. Well, I'm 59. There. So I just turned 59 on yeah. September 11th. My, my wife's 60. She's uh, 58 for another three months. Yeah. yeah they, well, actually, I'm 57. I'll be 58 in October, so next month I'll be 58. So, so right. I guess I'm just a mere child of 57 right now. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> Didn't think I was going to get 58 for there and they got COVID, man. Uh, I didn't really care too much until I hit 50 and I was like, man, I'm 50. <laughs> Runway 20, 173, bubble line. Clear for the option. Oh, I got there at six and walked in, and the nurse said, uh, you know, okay, well, 